United Nations report has identified the world's rapidly growing herds of cattle as the greatest threat to climate, forests and wildlife. There is enough scientific research to say that the burps from me and my friends account for 10% of global warming. My burps have a very bad gas in them called methane. A certain amount of methane in the atmosphere is natural, but too much is a major problem. If you could capture all the methane produced by one dairy cow in a year, the energy would run a V8 car for 1,000 kilometres. An average herd of 200 cows produces methane equivalent to 24,000 litres of petrol each year. This would run a reasonable sized vehicle for 200,000 kilometres. Methane production by dairy cows is a purely natural process. A ruminant animal has more than one stomach. The ruminant is its first stage of the stomach. Grass is chewed up and swallowed with large amounts of saliva. Once the food is in the rumen, it is subject to many microorganisms such as fungi and bacteria. Methane is produced by a group of microbes called methanogen, which gain energy by fixing hydrogen gas into carbon dioxide molecules. Basically, in methane there is one carbon dioxide atom, which is the black circle, and four hydrogen atoms, which are the white circles. Methanogen replace the oxygen atoms into carbon dioxide with hydrogen and form methane. The methane and the other gases built up in the rumen are belched directly from the rumen. Methanogen plays an important role maintaining the best conditions in the rumen. Without methane to absorb or remove the hydrogen gas, the hydrogen buildup would be bad for me and the farming production. 95% of the methane emitted from me is from my burps. But 1 kg of methane is over 20 times as potent for global warming as 1 kg of CO2. In New Zealand, 90% of methane emissions arise from agriculture. Some ways of reducing methane emissions are currently being explored. Scientists are working on developing new diets for cows that will cut back on our burps and the amount of methane we're releasing into our atmosphere. They've found that compounds in garlic kill methane producing bacteria found in livestock stomachs. A New Zealander, Gary Wakorn, an environmental researcher for Dairy NZ, is helping to find more environmentally friendly ways for farming. At the moment, he is using methane yolks to capture small amounts of methane from cows to find out how much methane cows produce each day. We just put the yolks around the cows' necks and we have it from the yolk to in front of their nose and when they burp, we click some of that burp, it goes into the yolk and then we measure the methane out. Pretty simple really. Farmers cannot buy these yolks yet because they are for research only, so scientists can understand how much methane cows emit under different diets. They are now used for research purposes globally, especially in Australia. Cows don't mind having the PVC plastic yolks put on them. The ones that are used for research are used to being handled so they do not react at all. They have sampled up to 750 cows in one trial. Australian scientist Roger Haggerty is exploring ways that can reduce the amount of methane that ruminant animals emit. Well, at the moment we're get, just building up a picture of how much methane is produced from different animals on different, uh, different diets. In Australia a lot of our work has been on animals that are dif genetically different. We've got animals that seem to eat or that require a lot less feed than other animals do to do the same job. We'd say they're more feed efficient. So we've been using our measurement techniques to, to prove, to quantify how much methane saving we're getting by using those more feed efficient animals. We filmed some respiration chambers that he and his colleagues are using to accurately measure the amount of methane that sheep and cows produce under certain feed types. With the respiration chambers, the scientists can control the amount of air, feed and water the animals are getting. Air is filtered and pumped through the chambers at 1,000 litres per minute. Animals breathe inside and the gases in their breath are carried inside tubes to a unit that first dries the gases and then measures separate gases such as methane, carbon dioxide and oxygen. With global warming being such a problem right now, farmers around the world all need to try and reduce their global footprint. New Zealand is leading the world with research into methane emissions from agriculture. New Zealand can't do without cows so we have to find better ways to protect the earth.